component required are PNP transistor BC557 and LED and a 220 microfarad capacitor a 4.7 UF capacitor a small speaker and an aux cord yeah so this is the circuit for the music plus LED blinker circuit so I've worked on quite a lot so the bigger one of the aux cord is actually the ground and the two are the AC inputs so I've used the UF capacitor one microfarad capacitor for the speaker and the 220 microfarad capacitor for the PNP transistor this is the NED and I've used a variable power supply yeah so you know at point A and B there will be two sine waves produced so now I'll be explaining how this circuit works the transistor PNP one so let's assume at point A when it's positive the sine wave then the current flows which is given as I but it's a PNP transistor so it is equivalent to an open switch therefore no current flows and here's what it would look like an oscilloscope with just first bump half of the sine wave shown in black and now the other half in blue as this it would go in the negative and the polarities of the positive and negative would switch so the top part would be negative and the bottom part would be positive but instead of flowing into the base current it would flow out of the base like that and because it's a PNP transistor so it was equivalent to an open circuit so the battery would now conduct like this and yeah behind me are some firecrackers and the light would the LEDs would light up I've shown in blue yeah again it's very simple and now when the sine wave comes back up the cycle will repeat so that means the positive and negative would switch as I'm doing right now okay and uh, yeah and now the current would again flow into the base therefore it is now again an open circuit therefore the current will not flow and the LEDs will stop lighting so it is not that much of a hard concept and is pretty basic I hope you're understanding if you're not and now the speaker so when the positive bumps of the side wave comes the membrane of the speaker will deflect backward because of the coil attracting it and and there would be a gap of air called a rear fraction but now when it goes into the negative cycle the membrane is pushed outward by the repulsive force of the magnet and the coil and there would be a shock wave kind of that would create compressions so it would be something like this the back and forth given by my disgusting curved hands <laughs> and then it would turn into the ear vibrate the drum and the bones so now I'm just showing that the rear fraction come the drum vibrates which vibrate the bones which go to the cord and help us play so here's the schematic and test runs 